this short tutorial as you know i'm kind on the tech pro and in this short tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a login in a database server now a login is different from a user and also is different from a role a login is a credential that gives you access to the database instance so actually a login applies to the database instance and not really to the databases so it's an authentication uh, credential while a user is an authorization credential to the database so in this case we are going to be creating a login now this is step by step of how i'm going to do it so we have how to create a login and you have all these steps you are going to follow at this point now i'm going to take out this because i'm going to put a link to this page in the in the description box of this video and feel free to visit and also in my website you can find a whole lot of things so first, let me just create a dummy database or just a database we are going to use for this demo. As I mentioned before, a login is actually a, an authorization credential to the server. However, you also need to specify a database that the login should be able to access. Because if you are, if you are authenticated into a database, you should be able to access a database. So let's create a database called DemoDB. So let's just call it DemoDB and no tables at all. So We've created a new database demo DB. Now let's go ahead to create a login. To create a login, the first step says, first you need to allow uh, the login we are going to be creating is going to be SQL Server Login. Uh, so I'm going to go to Properties, and that the first thing you want to do, I'm going to Properties of the database and go to Security and set it to allow SQL Server and Windows authentication mode because the login I'm creating is going to be SQL uh, Server Login. So I'm going to say, OK, the login I use for this uh, for this login, what I'm doing now to be able to log into the database is the Windows authentication. So basically, since I'm logging to, logged into Windows, it allows me to access the, uh, the server. So for now, I'm going to restart this database because after changing the, the security, uh, the login, the login method or the access method, you need to restart the database. So I'm going to restart the database at this time. And after then, we proceed to create the login. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to go to security, right click on security and choose new login. So it opens the new login window and give your login a name. Let's say I want to call this login teacher. So it's going to be the login used by teachers to log into this database. Now go to SQL Server Authentication and I don't want to use a strong password. Let me just use a simple password. Specify your password. And at this point you simply uh, go to server roles, go to server role and give it sysadmin to be able to connect to this database. All right. After giving it sysadmin, you also go to user mappings. Go to user mappings and you want this login to also have access to the new database we created, which is demo DB, and it's going to be DB owner for this demo DB. All right. Okay, so finally go to securables and search for the server. So it, when you click on securables, it comes out to this pop-up, simply select the server. So this, this particular server I'm in now, I'm going to select and I'm going to click OK. So at this point, we've created a login. So if you drop down in the security, you go to login and you can see we created a login called teacher. So I'm going to log out from or disconnect from this database server now. And I'm going to connect this time. I'm now going to try to use the login we created to login. So I'm going to, you can see it's teacher. And let me use the password and let's see, connect. And you can see we connected uh, so easily. So that's how to create a login in SQL Server 2019. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to be doing other short tutorials after now. So please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Also, leave me a comment or like and share my videos if it has been informative for you.